Hi friends, today we are going to see how to implement a lattice realization for an IIR structure. First, uh, let us recall uh, how to see a lattice structure and what is all about a lattice structure. So a lattice structure in IIR structure contains two parts. One is the forward path and the other one is the reverse path. The forward path will contain the X of N's which is going to get added with the delayed versions of the output. So from here I'm going to get my Y of N as input over here. That will get multiplied by first it will get delayed. So here I'm going to get N minus 1. That is going to get multiplied by K1 and at the addition part I'm going to get minus K1 y of n minus 1 that is at this point then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take y of n minus 1 ahead delay it so here I'm going to now get as y of n minus 2 which will get multiplied by k2 negated that's why I'm going to get minus k2 y of n minus 2 and so on and so forth final version will be y of let's say n minus this is the nth order that's why n the k factor is going as capital n this will get multiplied by k of n negated so i'm going to get the final version as minus k of n y of okay here it will be n minus n now note here I have written like, like y of n minus 1, y of n minus 2 and y of n minus 3. But that is not the only input or y of y of n is a hidden input. What I am doing is I am delaying here by 1, then I am also adding it with some factor. Okay. So actual y of n minus 1 is actual y of n minus 1 which I have written over here is nothing but this y of n minus 1 which I am bringing from here okay which i got from here directly that's not an issue okay from here that is not a problem when i push it ahead that time what goes ahead is y of n minus 1 which is delayed from here plus something is coming from above now what is coming from above see this point this point is collaboration of all the inputs which is coming from the forward point that will get added and that will form a new y of n minus 1 that y of n minus 1 will be delayed by once and so on and so forth okay what we are going to do over here is we can see that in the lattice structure the coefficients are demanded by the order of the or commanded by the order of the uh, polynomial so if the polynomial have the order as 3 then the maximum structures that i will have is 1 2 3 if the polynomial order is 4 then the lattice will repeat for four number of times but it will start from the uh, from the right hand side and will progress towards the left hand side so i will have the uh, maximum value of k that is if say let's say the order is three then we will have k3 k2 k1 okay if the order is four then it will be k4 k3 k2 k1 and so on and so forth so whenever a polynomial is given to us the first coefficient that we always get or the first we should always identify is what is the order of the filter or what is the order of the equation once we get the order of the equation then we can easily get the first coefficient and from the first coefficient we will use a relation called recurrence and that recurrence relation will give me the uh, factor k2 and k1 okay so here if i'm designing for third order the equation will be of third order if I'm designing for second order or second coefficient, there will be two uh, values in the equation. If I'm designing or finding the value of k1, then there will be only one equation. So let us see what is the recurrence relation. The recurrence relation that we will be using in the problems is given as a m minus 1 of k equals to, okay, a m of k minus a 
m of m okay into a m of m minus k divided by 1 minus a m square of m okay where m is the order in this case we can replace it by n that's not a problem okay so m is the order of the filter and k is uh, going to be taking the value from 1 to uh, the highest value of m okay if m is the order of 3 k will take value from 1 to 3 if m is equal to let's say 2 then k will take value as 1 and 2 and so on so k is bounded by m and m is the order of the equation or order of the uh, transfer function okay so this is really really confusing if i talk in terms of uh, variables so let us take up a problem that will actually give you the insight of how to design a lattice structure let us take an all pole filter so an all pole uh, transfer function is given as let's say h of z equals to 1 upon 1 plus 13 by 24z inverse plus 5 by 8 z raised to minus 2 plus 1 by 3 z raised to minus 3 okay that is the given problem now this is my a n of z so we know that from the generalized equation this is a n of z and how have we written a n of z a n of z is written as 1 plus summation k going from 1 to n okay a n k okay okay a n k z raised to minus k right now what is if i compare these equations i have one as it is okay now if i put k is equal to 1 i'm going to get z inverse which is there over here k is equal to 2 z raised to minus 2 k is equal to 3 z raised to minus 3 so now k is going from 1 to 3 so now actually the equation is like this 1 plus summation k going from 1 to 3 because the maximum degree of the polynomial is 3 a n of k z raised to minus k which if i open it up becomes 1 plus okay if i put k is equal to now n is what 3 so i'll put a3 of what a3 of 1 a3 of 1 z raised to minus 1 plus a3 of 2 z raised to minus 2 plus a3 of 3 z raised to minus 3 correct if i compare this equation with this polynomial then what you can find is along with z raised to minus 1 that is a3 of 1 is 13 by 24 along with z raised to minus 2 if i compare it i get 5 by 8 if i compare these two equations i am going to get three coefficients so what are those three coefficients so i write the three coefficient as a3 of 1 is how much a3 of 1 is 13 by 24 a3 of 2 which is nothing but 5 by 8 and a3 of 3 which is equal to 1 by 3 received so now we have received the three coefficient a31 a32 and a33 which are going to get multiplied if i compare these equations okay with the recurrence okay uh, the direct form and the coefficient of the lattice is related like this if it is a third order and you are finding the value of k3 so how i will go i will go from kn to k1 okay so i am at the kn stage now that is a third order stage so if i am at the third order stage then k3 is equal to a3 of 3 so we have k3 equals to a3 of 3 so the first coefficient which is k3 will be given by a3 of 3 immediately now the third coefficient that is a3 of 3 gives us k3 directly now i want k2 and i want k1 for k2 i want a2 of 2 
and for k1 i want a1 of 1 okay now you might get confused and write this as k2 and this as k1 but it's wrong because here the n value or we interchangeably we say m value is 3 but we want the m value and k value to be the same we wanted to equate it to the coefficients of the lattice so if i want a2 of 2 and a1 of 1 i have to use the recurrence equation okay now to get the recurrence equation let us go back and see in the recurrence equation that is we have m minus 1 k right i want a 2 of 2 let's say okay so but a 2 of 2 cannot be found directly why i'll tell you let us see i want a 2 of 2 okay if you compare that your k is equal to 2 Okay, and what m should be? I'm getting m minus one equals to two. Then m should be equal to three. Correct. So if I want m a two of two, then m value should be three, and k value should be two. Right. Then only I'm going to get this. Now with this scenario, put it in the recurrence. I'll get a. Okay. Three of Two because k is two and m is three. A three of three. A three of let's say three minus two. It will be three minus two because m is three and k is two. The whole divided by one minus a three of three squared. Right. So from the above equations. Okay, just just let us compare. Uh, what values do we have? So we have a three of one, a three of two, a three of three. So we have a three of two, a three of three. Here we were going to get face problem. See why? If I want a two of two, then there is no issue with this term because it is available in the equation or available in the problem. A three of three is also not a problem because we have it in the problem. A Three of this will be three minus two is a three of one. Yeah, a three of one divided by one minus a three square of three. So we are getting all the factors available with us. So yeah, all factors are available with us. So there is no problem in finding a two of two. Yeah, there is no problem in finding a two of two. We can go ahead and find a two of two because all the coefficients are available with us. So from the recurrence equation, I can find a two of two with keeping m is equal to three and k is equal to two. So a two of two will be equal to a three of two. So if I want a three of two, a three of two is five by eight. Okay, minus okay a three of three, which is one by three. Okay. Then a three of one, which is thirteen by twenty-four. Okay. Then we have to divide the whole stuff by one minus. Okay, a three of three, the whole square, which is one by three, the whole square. Right. On solving this complete equation, you will end up getting a. 2 of 2 as 1 by 2 or k2 as 1 by 2 okay now we wanted to find uh, a 1 of 1 which is k1 to get a 1 of 1 using the same recurrence okay using the same recurrence i wanted to find now a 1 of 1 so to get a 1 of 1 we'll be using the same recurrence i will write that recurrence equation in front of your eyes again So it is a m minus one of k equals to a m of k minus a m of m a m of m minus k all divided by one minus a m square of m. Okay. So if we are if we are uh, if now we wanted to find a one of one. So my m. Or oh, let's say k equals to one, and m minus one should be equal to one. 
So if m minus 1 should be equal to 1, then m should be equal to 2. Okay. So now we want a 2. Okay. Uh, sorry, a 1 of 1 because m is m minus 1 is 1. I'm extremely sorry. I'll write it again. It is m 1 a 1 of 1. Now m is 2. So let us put it. So you get a 2 of 1. Okay, m is 2, k is 1, minus a uh, 2 of 2, that is available, no problem, a 2 of m minus k, which is 2 minus 1, divided by 1 minus a 2 square of, two. so a 2 of 2, the whole square. Now the question arises, what is a2 of 1? That we don't know actually because uh, previously when I evaluated, I evaluated k2 of 2. So the equations that I have is, now the values that I have is a3 of 1, a3 of 2, a3 of 3 and a2 of 2 which is 1 by 2. To find a1 of 1, I require a value of a2 of 1 because it has been used, it will be used over here and here. So first I need to find what is the factor called a2 of 1. So instead of directly going for a1 of 1, I need to go or I need to also find what is k or a2 of 1. Now to get a2 of 1 using the recurrence, I want a2 of 1, right? So directly I can write k equals to 1 and m minus 1 equals to 2, therefore m is equal to 3, correct? So, I can get a3 of 1 minus a3 of 3 into a3 of m minus uh, k, m is 3, n is, uh, k is 1, divided by 1 minus a3 of 3 the whole square, correct? Now, we have all the factors we need just i just need to check what are the factors so we have uh, if we if we just cross verify we have a3 of 1 we have a3 of 3 we have uh, it will be a3 of 2 because it will be a3 of 3 minus 1 is 2 which is also available and a3 of 3 is also available. so all the coefficients are available i can easily find a2 of 1 so a2 of 1 will be uh, a3 of 1 is 13 by 24 minus a3 of 3 is 1 by 3 into this will be a3 of 2 which will be 5 by 8 divided by 1 minus a3 of 3 the whole square so a3 is 1 by 3 the whole square so now if you solve this equation a2 of 1 will be 3 by 8 a2 of 1 factor will be 3 by 8 okay so that is a2 of 1 once you have received a2 of 1 now it is easy to find a1 of 1 okay so what is a1 of 1 a1 of 1 according to the recurrence is a1 of 1 according to recurrence is uh, uh, a2 of 1 which is 3 by 8 now minus a2 of 2 a2 of uh, 1 again which is again 1 by uh, 3 by 8 and 1 minus a2 of 2 the square so i'll use that equations and i'll put uh, a1 of 1 will be equal to a2 of 1 which is 3 by 8 minus a2 of 2 which is from here which is 1 by 2 into uh, we have a2 of 1 again which is 3 by 8 divided by 1 minus a2 of 2 which is 1 by 2 the whole square now this is all equal to okay will be 1 by 4 so we received k1 we received k2 we received k3 now the last part remains in the problem is to draw the lattice we received k1 which is equal to 1 by 4 we found k2 which is 1 by 2 and we also have k3 which is uh, 1 by 3 so we got k1, k2, k3 which are the coefficients of lattice. Now we can draw the lattice. To draw the lattice, I will start from the output side because the 
procedure we normally follow. So from the output side, okay, I will drop down a path which will be delayed, which is Z inverse. Then we need to put an adder, okay. And here, just above this adder, I will put another adder. Fine. Now what I'll do, I'll put this above and from here below. This coefficient is k1. Then we need to negate. And what is the value of k1? I'm not writing purposefully the value because it becomes too much congestion if I write it over here. k1 is 1 by 4. Now, we will pull that strings ahead delay it once and put an adder okay now what i'll do is i'll pull the string from here also and put an adder just above this adder okay now I'll pull this up pull this down this becomes this is my k2 this is my k2 this is negated now k2 is 1 by 2 and one more time i will do the same thing because the order is 3 z inverse okay pull the string draw an adder just above this adder one line goes up one line comes down this is my k3 is also k3 with the negation and I got the two outputs. Now above you have to show the paths going in the forward direction. Below you have to show the path going in the reverse direction. Okay. So this is a third order lattice structure for a given transfer function. So uh, just let us brief or summarize the steps. Whenever you get an all-pole structure, you have to see the polynomial. The highest degree of the polynomial determines the number of lattice in the structure. Because we were having z raised to minus 3 in the problem, we had 3 uh, lattices. 1, 2, 3. Okay, lattice. If there would be z raised to minus 4, it could be 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, if there are 3 lattices, we will also have 3 coefficients. That is k1, k2, k3. k3 will be directly given uh, from the highest degree coefficient that is we were having z raised to minus 3 so a3 of 3 was the k3 coefficient we want k2 and we want k1 k2 is a2 of 2 and k1 is a1 of 1 to get k2 and k1 okay we used a recurrence uh, equation which is giving the relation of m and k where m is the order and k lasts for the order so uh, recurrence goes as a of m minus 1 into k equals to a m of k minus 1 minus a m of m into a m of m minus k divided by 1 minus a m of m the whole square. So using this recurrence formula, I can find the lower coefficients that is a2 of 2 and a1 of 1 to get the values of k1 and k2. Once you have found the values of k1, k2, k3, you have to just draw the lattice in uh, having two paths. One is going in the reverse, one is going in the forward direction. You have to draw the crisscrosses, which will have a negation sign when it is meeting the x of n side. Uh, this will be my input side, which is x of n, and this will be my output side, which is y of n side. So this is what the overall lattice structure is all about. I hope you have understood how to design a lattice for an IIR structure. Thank you.